sections that equal one whole, okay? And we've done this all year long, but even if I had two, if this pizza or pie was broken up into two different pieces, okay? And I were to fill in both pieces, what would I call this? Yes, a whole. A whole, okay? And so two out of two equals a whole, right? So two slices out of the two slices were in there, yes. So any number that is like the same digits will be a whole. Makes one whole, so. you're exactly right. So even if I had three right here, I okay, all and all three of them were filled in, it would be three out of three, which makes the whole thing filled in, one whole, okay? So no matter what we do or how many pieces we cut it in, if they're all filled in, then it makes it a whole, all right? Now, um, it, here's like one of the questions they'll say to you. Write a fraction equal to one that has a denominator of four. Now, which one's the denominator? The bottom. The bottom number, okay? So this would be our four. And it, the question is, write a fraction, fraction equal to one whole that has a denominator of four. Okay. Yes? Four. Four. So the numerator would be four as well. So the answer to this problem is easy. Four is 4 over 4, because that's the fraction that we were needing. Okay, everybody feel like they understand that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now, I thought we did this the other day, but if you were to add fractions, what's the most important rule? Um, you have to add the top two. Add yes, two. and so the the denominator always has Stay to be... Same. Always, okay? Hopefully y'all got that. But so if... Go ahead. Are, we so, are you going to teach us, like, how to make the, like, different denominators and then make them common? Um, today, the first lesson is not on that, and neither is the second. Um, I didn't think so. Not yet. Okay? I already know how to do that. You do? Way to go. Okay, we're going to learn how to do that sometime, too. Okay, so watch this. If I had one-fourth, and then I added three-fourths, what am I going to do, Garrett? You're going to add them together to get one. Yes, but what, what what happens before I get a whole? Uh, four over four. Yes. So basically, I go three. A one plus three. Oh my gosh. Is four. And then do I do anything with these? Reduce. No. Those stay the That's same. Four. Okay, because we have the same denominator. And four out of four equals a total of one whole. Right? Okay. Which is kind of what they're wanting you to understand. All right. Now let's try something else. Now they're wanting us to compare four and three thirds. They're wanting us to compare that with five whole pies. Okay. Does anybody see something in this? Yes, Garrett? Um, that they're both equal. They are both equal. How come? Because three over three is one whole pie. Yes. So this would be like I have one, two, three, four whole pies plus this and this other one, and all of these four pies are filled in, and then I have three of the three filled in. So how many do I have total? Five. five. So if I said five whole equal. is equal, very good, okay? So this, this should be kind of, maybe not review, but it is very easy learning. Yeah. All right, what if I had one and a half plus one and a half? What am I gonna get? Yes. Two. Close. Three. Three. Half. Three. Okay? But let's take it step by step. Okay? If you didn't already know one and a half plus another one and a half is equals three, how am I actually going to answer this? Let's do it mathematically. First, you're going to do one plus one. Yep. Which equals a two. Yeah. Then you're going to do the other one plus one. Wait, first of all, I have to finish the fraction oh, part. And then you put the two over. Yep, because the denominator is two and they are the same. And we that, just leave it. And then you do the two and two. And which, which equals two. One plus one equals two. two. So we have two and two, two halves, two. okay? So you add, you would say, well, two, two over two is one. Yep, that so would be, be one. one plus two equals two. Two plus that one, very good. So we would get three, very good. Does everybody see that? Pretty simple? Yes, it is. Okay, good. So far, this lesson is really simple. Okay, this one might be a tad bit har harder. Okay, this one says one minus one third. Okay. Now remember, what is our one whole equal? Okay, yes. How do you do that? Close. What do we see that the pies are broken up into based on this one? Yes. Thirds. So yes. Three so, three. Okay. Does everybody see that I'm going to change this one to a three over three? 
How do you do that? Okay. Do you know that this three out of three equals one? Yes. And because I, I saw how many times our pies were broken into, okay, I saw that my pies were broken into threes. That was my indicator right here of what I needed to do here. Does everybody see that? Okay, so I knew I needed to make three out of three to make it this whole number. And then once I had it as a whole number, then I was able to take away one. Okay, so what would my final answer be? Yes? Um, it would be two and three. Three, very good. Okay, so I would go three minus one, which would give us two. And then our three at the bottom stays the same. Very good. Great job, guys. Everybody feels like they understand that? Yes. All right, y'all do one on your own. Ready? One minus two, three-fourths. Three Tell me what the answer is. One minus three-fourths. Excellent. Try again. One whole... Minus three fourths. Yes. Yes. You should close. What you should have done is my one hole. What do I know from my fraction? How many pieces it was cut into? Fourth. It was cut into fours. So would it be okay for me to put four over four? Yes. For this one? Yes. Yes. That's what I did. Okay, and then you're going to go minus 3 over 4, and then 4 minus 3 would be 1 over 4. Mm. Okay, let me write it down. Okay, everybody feels like they got it? Yes. yes. Not yet. Good stuff. That's lesson 59.